Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we're going to do this really bright, happy card using the Love For You stamp set and three of the new colors, the Lemon Lime Twist, Azure Afternoon, and Berry Burst. This is a two-step stamping. Um, and what I've done is I've used second value for the larger background stamp and then first value for the detail stamp for the flowers. Um, I've gone ahead um, and stamped most of the card. Uh, you don't need to spend an entire video watching me uh, stamp. Uh, so I'm just going to use the lemon lime twist and put the dark um, or the first value elements into the leaves here and with these it's not critical that you get everything perfect it gives it a kind of a, a whimsical more of a whimsical type look and you just add the color in the second value of the lemon lime twist is very light um, but it's really nice when you put the first value over top it gives it that that little bit of um, extra dimension. So I'm just going to keep adding in here and I'm going to add here and here and this one I'm going to do again. It's not a big deal if I stamp over where I've already stamped, it just gives it a little bit more depth. So um, that's pretty much it, the two-step stamping. Um, your first stamp is your second value. So um, you just take a scrap of paper and stamp off and then uh, stamp onto your project. Um, some of these stamps, it's easier, like the two-tone flora, to do the dark one first, the first value one first, and then stamp the second value over top. But these ones, it's not, it's not really critical. Things don't need to line up exactly. It's more of a kind of an impressionist um, stamp as opposed to one of the really, really detailed stamps. So I'm just going to pop this down like this. And I took, uh, this is the Azure Afternoon. It's a really, really pretty color. I love these colors together for summer. Um, just so, so bright. I've cut out with the dies, the, um, the For You and then the Detailed For You. Uh, in, this is in the white. Uh, and I've just put adhesive backing on the back because that for me is the easiest way to manage these. If you don't have adhesive backing, it's relatively inexpensive in the catalog and it will save you so much time. And it's so much easier and less messy than glue. So we're just going to put that down like that and then we'll peel this one off and we'll pop this down on here. Just line it up and then give it a push to put it down. There we go. Um, and you can choose where on the card you want to have these. Um, I don't, it doesn't really matter to me on this one where I'm going to put it. Um, but I am going to use mini dimensionals to put these down just to have them stand off of the, um, card a little bit, uh, just to separate the colors a little bit so they don't blend in too terribly much. But like I say, I just wanted a nice, bright, fun card. And these new catalog colors are fabulous for that. All right. So again, it can go anywhere. Um, you can make these backgrounds as busy or as um, calm, uh, if you want to use that word, as you like. I'm just gonna pop this one here and then I'll put the U down below. And you can, this is, this is a perfect example of a card that you can absolutely customize and coordinate with your own colors. If you have a friend who has very specific favorite colors, then you can, uh, you can absolutely do that. So there we go. We've got our finished card. You can add bling to it if you like, but I think with all the different colors on it, for me personally, it's busy enough. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this uh, first foray into some of the new colors, uh, especially the Azure Afternoon. I've used the Berry Burst a few times. 
um, but love this Azure afternoon. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.